please subscribe the channel and hit the like button. The goals of Moscow's military operation in Ukraine have not changed and are in fact being served by Kiev's latest offensive, Russian President Vladimir Putin told a gathering of war correspondents at the Kremlin on Tuesday. Putin also addressed Ukraine's glorification of Nazi collaborator Stepan Bandera, the ongoing fighting on the southern front, and the fallout from the Kakovka Dam disaster, among other things. Moscow's objectives remain unchanged. The goals laid out in February 2022 are essential and while some details are subject to change based on the developing situation, they remain fundamentally the same, Putin said. Demilitarization of Ukraine is happening gradually and methodically. With Kiev's troops now entirely reliant on Western weapons, equipment and ammunition, unable to produce anything locally. There has been progress on protecting the people of Donbass, though Ukraine continues to bombard them. If Kiev's drone strikes and incursion continue, Moscow may consider setting up a buffer zone in Ukrainian territory to keep them out of range. No fundamental changes have taken place today in terms of the goals that we set for ourselves at the beginning of the operation, Putin said. Progress of Ukraine's Offensive Kiev launched a large-scale offensive on June 4, using the troops and equipment provided by the West, but without success in any sector. They're taking heavy casualties. Greater than ours by a factor of 10, said the Russian president. The Russian president said. On top of the 300,000 reservists called up last fall, more than 150,000 people have signed up for contract service, at a rate of 9,500 a week. Conscripts doing their regular service have also seen battle in Belgorod and acquitted themselves admirably. On the role of industry in the conflict Russia began overhauling its defense industry eight years ago, but the conflict made clear the remaining shortcomings, Putin said, such as the availability of drones. Since the start of hostilities, the Russian industry has increased production up to tenfold for certain systems, with some companies operating in three shifts. Meanwhile, Ukraine's capabilities have been almost entirely eliminated and they depend entirely on the West. 